track reviews. Hi, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. And it is time for a track review. Going to be talking about the newest single from Anderson Pack, rapper, singer, songwriter, multi instrumentalist who has been putting in quite a bit of work over the past few years. His album Malibu caused quite a bit of commotion. Also, his oh. with producer Knowledge Yes Lawad in 2016 turned a lot of heads too. He had a relatively quiet 2017, but it seems like he's coming back. He came out with that bubbling single a little while ago, which I thought was fantastic. Definitely one of the most uh, hilarious and <laughs> off the wall singles the dude has ever put out. And now he has been teasing toward a new release, a new track with Kendrick Lamar. Hopefully an album is on the way soon. I can't imagine that he would be dropping these incredible and hot tracks right now without a record around the corner. And uh, also, I, I just want to say, just because it's Anderson Pack, I, I will, in this instance, admit and say that I do not have the best teeth in the game. Anderson Pack, in fact, does have the best teeth in the game. But for any other video, it's me. Okay, but but for the purposes of this video, Anderson Pack, he does have the best teeth in the game. So, I I can be humble. All right, this new track, Tints. It's four minutes and change. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what's up. Ba bam. <laughs> Oh my God! That was some top-notch synth funk. Move over, Jameson. Scooch, Bruno Mars. <laughs> that was good. Holy crap! The synth bassline was great. The rhythms, the grooves were fantastic. Uh, Pac was as versatile as ever, as he did have verses that uh, felt more sung. There were verses where he felt like he was uh, getting into his rap flow a little bit more. The exuberance and the charisma of this track, which Kendrick Lamar contributed to greatly. Loved the chill uh, female vocals on the very tail end of the track, uh, made for a chilly, sexy ending to the whole thing. Uh, I thought maybe in the last leg, the instrumental could have used maybe a bit of a change up some kind of bridge or something because I, I feel like in its last moments it didn't quite alter the return of the chorus enough to kind of keep it refreshing and and keep it intensely groovy but that's it's such a minor nitpick such a minor nitpick there's so many great things about this the production is a, is incredible the synths sound great um and and it really feels like Anderson is because his his last solo record was really all over the place stylistically. It feels like with these past couple of songs, he's really starting to distill the charisma and swagger and and ex exactly the sounds and the styles that he does incredibly well and honing in on those in really exciting and creative ways. This is this is great. This is great. This is easily one of the most fun singles I've heard this year. Yeah, again, the the Bitchum Kendrick Lamar uh, verse and everything I thought was uh, really charismatic. Again, a lot of swagger. I feel like Kendrick just matched the energy on this track perfectly. Came in a little bit earlier than I thought that he would have, but um, but still. Uh, this is a great track, and as 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 nostalgic as it is, it doesn't it doesn't really feel stale, you know. And maybe that's partially to do with this sound kind of coming back with a vengeance in a way. But uh, still, if if you're gonna kind of buy into a revivalist trend, do it do it this well, do it this well, please. Yeah, that was that was fantastic. That was just so good. And I don't, I just, I'm a little just blown away by how good it is and how good the past single was too. Uh, hopefully this shapes up to be one of the best albums in this genre 
in a while. And I think Anderson Pack has the potential because, again, his singing and rapping ability, the fact that he does have such a unique style and voice, and uh, and his personality just pops. He just pops out of a record uh, in a way that very few other artists do. And um, I think it's only going to be a matter of time before he does come out with that amazing, almost game-changing album, uh, while also um, really carving out a spot for himself in the mainstream. And if he keeps doling out tracks like this, that's going to be a real possibility. Uh, and I, I guess ra rather I'll say a likelihood. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to stop just overly gushing on this track. But everything from the funny, playful, uh, swagger-filled lyrics to the tight and layered and colorful synth funk production... Uh, which is very bright, bassy, vibrant, uh, and modern. Kendrick, again, sounds great. Uh, progression of the track was really good. Uh, assembled really well, assembled meticulously. Uh, I remember I did have a bit of an issue with uh, Yes Load in that um, there were some tracks that, that they didn't feel like they changed up enough, didn't have well-defined choruses and, and all that stuff, but that, that is very much not the case on this track. This has great structure, great flow, um, great everything. I'm loving it. So, but bam. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Anderson Pack, Kendrick Lamar, tense, tense, forever.